this will probably be fine. Yeah. On that note, should we... Welcome yeah. to Square Table Weekly, where we talk about video games and nerdy stuff, and uh, we, we just have lots of fun. And apparently we get real right before we actually start. Something <laughs> along those lines. Probably. Wait, we're real? Okay. That's Nick. Yeah, that's that's Trenton. Not the one talking. That's going to get really confusing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Trenton. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Matt. <laughs> and I'm Nick. Nick. Is snorting. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> My name's Jeff. No! Your name's Nick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start off with a good old table, table topic. topic. Trenton, you uh, do the no, honors. thank you. You don't want to be honest. You did that, both of them for the first two episodes. Come on. Yeah, but you clearly didn't want to do it for this one. I was just giving Trenton an opportunity because he hasn't done it yet. That's because you didn't, didn't want to do it in the first place. So why like would you even English. do that? Pay attention to your friends, buddy. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. Okay, what is it? What do would you your what? own a sword? Okay. I feel that, like that card is in here somewhere. But no, that's not what it is. Uh, it's like so sword or this table topic is, what would your quarters be like on a spaceship? Ooh, wait, what? What would your oh, quarters? personal quarters? Yeah, my mind jumped to like coins. <laughs> what, what would, would your, your coins look like? Uh, probably like coins. <laughs> Mine would have a face on one side and a face on the other side. A double-headed coin? Yes, that's a worthless coin. Exactly. <laughs> At least by uh, today's standards. I mean, I guess... For my actually... coin, one side would be a building and the other side would be a tail. My coin would... Uh, 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 hmm. <laughs> one side would be a video game controller and the other side would be a guitar. Uh, anyways, yeah, that makes sense. Let's, let's but go. now let's go to the actual question and what they actually meant versus what I misunderstood it as. So, what would your quarters be like on a space station or a spaceship? On a spaceship. Okay, so I a know. little. I feel like I feel like space station. Your quarters would be bigger, so I feel like you have to kind yeah. of narrow down what would be in your quarters on a spaceship. Mm-hmm. Space at space least that's station, how my brain yeah. works. Space station would be more permanent, so you would definitely have a lot more stuff in it. Whereas yeah. spaceship is like okay, it's just temporary travel. Unless it's of course, if you go into sci-fi where it's like you're actually like I don't know some sort of space marauder and you live on your spaceship. Yeah, although I guess it depends. Like, do we get to design our quarters? Or are we getting a room that we have to fill versus, like, adding stuff we want? Because I would, if we get to design it, it would definitely be, like, there'd be a wall that's just, like, a blank wall, but it has, like, seams in it that you can pull out, and that's where, like, my instruments would be. Mm -hmm. So, like, one I would, like, pull out, and the keyboard would be on it. It'd be all set up so I could play whatever I wanted at that point. So it'd be all plugged in, I just pull it out, and it automatically, like, turns on, and then, yeah, vertical one that I can pull out, and there's, like, my row of guitars, so, and one wall would just be, like, a one whole wall would be a TV. (laughs) Imagine Skype calls. Actually, no, I guess if, I guess that would probably be in a space station. In a spaceship, it would be the same thing, but smaller. Yeah. (laughs) And then, like, so wouldn't be the entire wall was a TV because that'd be too big and I'd be too close. So I'd probably have, like, a section of the wall that just, like, activates and is like, this is the TV. And... Well, we also didn't specify what kind of spaceship. We're just, it's more so your personal. Is this a nerd? Like, yeah, I guess that's true. Is this, like, NASA space shuttle? No. Is this, like, sci-fi? There's no such thing as personal quarters in a NASA spaceship. You share a room with five other people, and there's three bunk beds. How do you know this? Are you secretly an astronaut? Would you tell us if you were? If I was an astronaut, do you think I'd be living in Canada? Yes. I would yeah. probably be living in... Yeah, I would be. You might be. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's your vacation. I would probably be driving a better car. Not if you're secretly an astronaut. Okay, if I was secretly an astronaut... They only pay the secret astronauts know. like $15 an hour. It's worse than I get paid now. You have to be a famous astronaut in order to get paid the real big money. <laughs> My name Neil Armstrong. I'm the first man to walk on the moon. I don't know if you had a southern accent. Why does he sound like this? I'm Neil Armstrong. Okay, we haven't Bub. Even, <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the point where we're saying what's in our okay. our rooms. I technically did. Well, yeah, you did. Think of, okay, I, well, okay, okay, yeah, whatever. Keep going. I mean, I guess it depends on how big the rooms are. Like I was saying, like a ten by ten. Ten, 10 by ten. An eight by ten. Is it just a prison cell? 
No, I think a little bit bigger than a person's home. Go like 15 by 15. That's a general what, size. What's, what's the wording of the question? What would you quarters be like on a spaceship? Uh, well, like, futuristic. Next, next, next question. <laughs> Not next, but uh, no, um, Nick, I don't know. Something. It's it's hard to figure Matt, out because like something? I know what I want in the quarters, but what would they be like? They'd probably be like super like mood oriented, so it wouldn't be like like the lighting would definitely like change based on. Like, I would change the lighting all the time to be what I want. It would definitely be softer lighting, so it would be, like, darker in the room, because I don't like bright, glaring lights. Mm-hmm. It would be super comfortable, like, super, like warm colors, probably, on everything. Like, when you think spaceship and you think quarters, you think, like, all white and, like, futurist. At least that's what I think of, because that's, like, the comics I read tend to be, like, the futuristic is, like, oh, it's nice and sterile and white but it'd be like reds and browns and oranges just because i really like like i I just like warm colors they just make me feel more comfortable maybe like hints of blue just because blue's nice but like yeah super about all about comfort and you know chillaxing relaxing yeah chillaxing comfort room that's basically what my room would be like okay Nick, do you have an idea? Yeah. Like, I'm going to go... Okay, but first first with the spaceship, mine's going to be kind of like uh, the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's like a personal spaceship. Did I have to describe what my spaceship looked like? No, I'm just I'm just saying it's it's, it's like a it's like a personal one for, like, a handful of people. Cause like, Mine's a spaceship I could have gone that with... looks like a guitar. Well, we're only Same. discussing your yeah. quarters, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, skip, I just want to skip the rest <laughs> of the ship. Go to your quarters. The only what reason do you I want to like, specialize with that because I could have been like, okay, it could be like a huge ship like uh, uh, Chimera from Star Wars, where it's like, okay, I can fit hundreds of people on there, so I could have a small room. But like, also in my room, there's definitely a lava lamp. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was about to say too. The, the, it's gonna be lots of like, not, not so much blue lights, but like, yeah, dim lights. Uh, the walls will be like dark blue. Very 90s, being big chairs, stuff like, like that. 90s future or 90s? Like Earth. Earth Like 90s. prime Earth. Like. Okay. Like what people would think, not the, not what people thought of the future would be like when they were in the 90s, but yeah. like, like just actual like 90s. 90s culture, 90s comforts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I would definitely have some sort of weird so he's got like alien a, like He's got like a table that has like pogs all over it. He's got some Pokemon cards. It's pretty be great. Yeah. And then there would definitely be, like, a locker with a bunch of, like, battle uniforms and stuff like that. And weapons. And then a caged-up weird animal. Alien thing. That likes to eat stuff. I'm starting to sound like Captain Marvel. There would definitely be, like, a fully stocked fridge in mine. (laughs) Filled with Mountain Dew. No, man. Orange Fanta. (laughs) Not orange crush. For me, orange crush, um, just orange pop. I definitely have at least one area, a place for like gaming <laughs> of my room, because I like gaming, and so it'd probably be like where computer and other stuff would be set up. Um, I'm debating on whether or not I want like a couch or and like. A collapsible bed or Murphy bed, maybe Murphy bed, uh, or a futon. Yeah, you can have both in one, but like a nice futon, not like yeah. a college futon, not like, like a super futon. nice one, like a memory foam futon. Yeah, like so that's like comfortable that, no matter like which low, way you like, put it. Like you, I can lift it up into the wall. Oh, that's a Murphy bed. Murphy bed. Yeah, the Ooh. futon is the couch that turns into the bed. Okay, that's what that's because Mur- Mur- you Mur- said both, so we're like, hey, maybe you want to have them in one that saves space, but you could also have a Murphy bed. That's cool. Probably yeah. more Murphy. So when bed. you put the Murphy bed up, is there a couch here that shows up essentially? So like, here's the bed. You put it into the wall, and then there's a couch right there. Is that, yeah, maybe. Is that how it works? Maybe so it's like that a Murphy bed cool. futon. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't it, it wouldn't really be a futon then, wouldn't it? It'd be like a Murphy couch as well. I would call it a Murphy bed futon because it's a bed that turns into a couch. I guess. <laughs> but you could be right. I'm, I'll am i be honest, I don't know a lot about furniture furniture and interior design and whatnot. <laughs> I'd probably have on the walls probably some posters of like a mixture of some sweet space video uh, game, bands. Video games, maybe some, some space bands. Space bands. Ma- space bands. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then some movies. Like, kind of just a general mixture no, they're, they're of They're in space, so they're called spoobies. <laughs> spoobies? <laughs> oh, no, not this again. No, this is going to happen whether you like it or it not. It wasn't in the first episode because that's when I pulled the plug, remember? Was it not? I thought, oh, we yeah, because... all of that because I kept pulling the plug out by the accident. Sparks and the sp- sp- And then I got upset, magic. so I didn't say it again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that would be basically what I would want. Um, maybe not as mood mood lighting or dark lighting as you guys. Maybe a little bit brighter. <laughs> just because I don't mind it being a little bit brighter. I like I mean, to I see my it. I just preferred softer yeah. lights because I just prefer them. I don't like bright, glaring lights. I'm just photosensitive. You're photosynthetic. <laughs> I'm synthetic? You're photosynthetic. So you're a picture of a fake person. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, in space, you're spoto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, the, yeah, there's we got, def- we got... Mine's definitely just like a room of comfort. Yeah. yeah. It has a video, like, there's well, a bed the, on the side, and then, like, beside the bed there's a couch that faces the wall where the TV is essentially like that, and then there's a wall with you know, a keyboard and a guitar in it so that I can pull it out and it turns on and stuff like that, and it's all just very... Mm. calm and warm lighting and warm color scheme and just it's it's comfortable yeah. and of course there's a lava lamp like I said <laughs> you need to get a lava lamp yeah I, now I think about my my living quarters on my space shuttle spaceship would definitely be like what my room is right like right now mine Very would be what my room is but like way more organized <laughs> 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 yeah no, that makes sense. The futuristic elements are basically just the fact that I can hide my instruments in the wall. <laughs> Everything else is just normal Earth stuff. <laughs> yep. And I'm sure I could, you know, hide my instruments in a wall somehow. I could probably figure out how to do that. Like, I have to cut a hole in the wall and then, like, line it, essentially, make a cupboard in the wall, and I could easily do that. Right here. I could do it here, but I wouldn't because my parents probably wouldn't want me to You'd do it. You'd have that. to build like a second wall because, yeah. Oh, yeah, not maybe in, like here because it's not a outer wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Like it's possible to do that, but yeah. Okay. Um, that's table topics. Now for build, build a, a game. Build oh, a game. it's a game. Would you like to build a game, sir? So now we continue on with where with our games that we've been uh, making. Excuse what is our next section that we're talking about? The next section is customization of kind of whatever, but about a lot of this conversation will be dominated by character customization, but there will be other things Aspects probably. That you can customize. Right. Yeah. Any volunteers for first? I feel like Matt should, should start. I should start apparently. Yeah. I think Trent and I have both started the last few episodes. For the well, I also didn't want to dominate the conversation, but I that's still okay. tend to dominate the conversation just because that's kind of who I am. I talk a lot, and it's I apologize. Your, it's your podcast. Um, it's our podcast. I'm just that's true. the best. Um. <laughs> You're the one who created it. Trent is the one who keeps us on track, and I'm just definitely. the one that's here. He struggles to keep us on track, but that's not his fault. That's our fault. I'm We're just definitely here. just hard to rain. That, that is very true. You guys sometimes just fly off the handles. We, d- we say Trenton's the one that keeps us on track. We still go off track, but I promise you that's not his fault. It's our fault. Me and Nick are terrible people. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here for the ride. No, I'm not. I'm just... You're a, you're a reviewer, man. We need you. Yeah. Speaking uh, of which, Rich is going to... No, I'm kidding. We're not going to skip the public game to just go reviews. Character. Correct. So my character... Characterization... Customization? My character customization. <laughs> it's definitely going to be really, I don't know about really in-depth, but definitely a lot more than most games have. <laughs> it's definitely along the lines of like Dragon Age's, Dragon Age Inquisition's character customization where you can, where you have all sorts of options. So, you know. You can customize, like, the shape and angle of the ears and how high they sit on the head and how far forward they are. And the same thing with everything else and changing the colors of the eyes and the hairstyles. But I think what I would want to do that Dragon Age didn't do is more body customization. So changing the height of your character and, you know, 
how muscular. muscular so so more. I like guess WWE. If anything, yeah. There's kind of like three games that I would base it off of, and that would be Dragon Age for like the face customization because I think they did a really good job on that. Mm-hmm. WWE for like body customization because I, I think they did like the WWE games, um, which I really enjoy. Uh, did I say three games? I did say three games. Yeah. The last one I had in my head was Sims, but... Sims is... The body customization more in that as well. So maybe like the so combo? I thought a combo of like Black the Desert. Sims. Because that's a Black very in-depth... In have you played Black Desert? I played on the PC, yeah. Because it's not as in-depth as you think. It's more in-depth than most games I've played <laughs> for character yeah. customization. But no. I mean, it's good. It's good. I'm not saying anything against Black Desert. They do have great character customization, but I think the in-depth part is kind of later character like clothes and stuff like that I oh, think okay. is what they kind of mean by that but maybe not right. I mean it's definitely in depth more in depth than quite a few games but mm-hmm. I feel like it's hard to get my characters to look exactly the way I want them to in that game right I struggle a bit with that but maybe that's just because I have very specific ideas of how I want my characters to look fair enough fair enough um, but yeah so super in depth on face but then also a lot more in depth in body than a lot of games do, and I, I kind of get why they don't, because it's harder to, because then you have to map like the, the walking animations and whatnot, depending on how you do it, to the different size bodies, and you know you put the wrong animation on the wrong size body, and it just looks funny. So mm-hmm. I do understand why they don't always do that, mm-hmm. but I would, but again, these these aren't these aren't actual games. These are games that we would like to see, and like our dreams of like the perfect game. Which will change when we do the next game because we'll have different fascinations by then. Yeah. <laughs> different ideas. So at this it's point, it's heavy months. customization in pirates. Yeah. Um, so based on that, another thing to customize would be the ship. So you can customize. So kind of like, I guess I would say kind of like Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, where you can change the sails and stuff like that. Mm. But more options or more customization within the choices so like changing the colors but also changing like the pattern on the sails or something like oh, that okay. Would you also... but then also maybe customizing a flag that you use throughout the entire game and I don't know what about... maybe if you could update that throughout the Would game Would you have like the you know on the front of the ships what are those uh, figurehead figurehead you'd have customization for Oh definitely figureheads yeah. and yeah different colors for that too like Either that or base or the figurehead would be the, like the one thing that remains constant for like the race you pick Oh, okay. Maybe that. I don't or maybe know. they're all right. themed based on the races. Like they, they yeah, have you different have different choices, choices for the races. That's probably what would happen. So, like, the dwarves would have, you know, various, you know, maybe a dwarven woman or, like, you know, more maybe like a, just mining a full on, oriented or full on crystal looking like thing. Like, yeah, like, just like a natural, an actual, like, crystal with bursts yeah. of different crystals looking up. Because they, like, I'm guessing you still stick to that uh, mm-hmm. part of, like, dwarf. Or sort of like mining, cultural, smithing, metal smithing, stuff like that. They love the rock. beauty, beauty in the rock so, and the nature. Mm-hmm. And that's and like the ships, the ships would also kind of be the same thing because, as I said, I think the first week is that like based on the race you choose, your ship is made out of like different materials, stuff like that. So like the elves, of course, have like these like long, graceful mm-hmm. wooden ships, and the dwarves would have like giant ships made of maybe like metal or rock that are magically enchanted mm-hmm. to stay floating and but they're they're less like sleek they're more just like it's the difference between a knife and a hammer essentially yeah is like they're more they're like blunt objects that just you know mm-hmm. force their way through whatever's in front of them whether it's through crushing it or breaking it <laughs> or just like shoving it out of the way rather than like slipping past so yeah the ships are definitely there's a lot of customization there and maybe i don't know if they would all have sails maybe you can customize their the way they move maybe it's through sails through wind maybe it's through magical crystals. magical crystals and maybe the dwarves maybe they figured out a way to make like a rudimentary magic based engine mm. that can power their ships through that because huh. Who knows? So, so yeah. Quick thing, like each race has their own material, right? But maybe, yeah. maybe like, is there like sub, sort of? I'm thinking like, kind of, kind of what I'm thinking about is 
You know, in anthems. Well, there's different ship shapes. You know, it's ship shape. I'm thinking the anthems. There's some, there's the materials, and sometimes oh, you like, can have them as like, like you can change from titanium to so, gold or something like that. Not not just like what what kind of maybe metals or materials, but like textures, so that so like, they have like a rugged metal versus like a polished metal, stuff like that. Oh right? yeah, definitely. Or like f- like fresh gems versus polished gems. Yeah. Oh, that that would definitely be a part of it. That's definitely <laughs> something that I hadn't necessarily thought about. But definitely, that definitely more would, the choice be, would be better in your eyes. Right? Basically, my customization is in depth and as many choices as possible. But like the idea is that even if you don't want to go super in depth, just like three different choices. Like I'll choose this, this, and this because I don't want to go through this in depth thing. Mm-hmm. You can still make it look really cool and look relatively unique. Okay. Because okay. yeah. Yeah, so that's, it's just all about customization and making sure that you get what you want based on, you know, whatever you wa- flies you, your fancy. Yeah, how you want to look. And of course, character customization, like, there's, so there's the beginning of the game where it's super in-depth, but then also throughout the game, you can find similar to um, Fallout 4's, like, barber shops hairdressers you can like change your hairstyle and whatnot similar to um dragon age inquisitions mirror of transformation i think it's called i could be getting that wrong which would be embarrassing because i love that game <laughs> what about, like that can just like you go up to it and just, you let your change of character what about Basically, like clothing and stuff do you have like multiple levels yeah so of st- starting at the very first you probably get like two may you may just be forced into one but i i would like to get like two or three different choices for each race and gender to choose from to start the game in and then as you go through the game you pick up you know clothing and armor and various weapons and stuff that you can equip and change out and whatnot and like you can change and customization including like fighting style hmm. So, based on, like, the weapons you have equipped, your fighting style changes, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, if you wanted to, you may have, like, four or five weapon slots that you can have equipped at once. And if you wanted to, you could fill all those weapon slots with swords, or you could fill them all with guns. Mm. So, you know, some people might choose to be like, oh, I'll take two swords and then three guns, or, like, a gun and four swords, or something like that. And just because... Maybe they prefer... Because I've noticed when I play video games, a lot of my combat classes tend to be melee. So I'd probably mostly go with swords. And I'm not saying swords and guns would be the only options. Just because, you know, high fantasy, you can basically do whatever you want. So they're be Like, maybe if you take a two-handed weapon, maybe that would take up two slots. Mm. So you could only have that one weapon. And then a rifle might still only take up one slot but maybe there's there'll be trade-offs and stuff of course with any of that but it's definitely based around you know here's how many slots you have there's not like a firearm slot and a sword slot there's this many weapon slots put whatever you want in there okay (laughs) and then you you choose your loadout completely like if you wanted to go with a two-handed weapon a two-handed weapon and and like a, a a gun go for it and, like, obviously, you can change how your character uses them, so there'll be options for, like, oh, I'll go one-handed, or you have two hand- one-handed weapons equipped, but one's a hammer and one's a sword, and you're just like, well, I just want to go with the sword for right now, or I just want to go with the hammer right now, or I want to dual wield. So I'm thinking you can do kind of whatever you wanted. Um, maybe they're shields. High fantasy. Do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, I would throw shields in there just because... I don't know. It doesn't seem... Maybe maybe that's just my... Oh, it's pirates, so they don't have shields. Maybe that's what it is, but maybe they do have shields. And maybe maybe it's not weapon slots. Maybe it's just, like, equipment slots, and one of those could be, you know, spy your glass. magical loot. Your magical hurdy-gurdy. Or a spyglass? <laughs> yeah, a spyglass or something. But I think a spyglass, I don't know if that would be, like, a optional... Okay, equipment that might be like a, like a a mandatory equipment a that you just always have. Yeah. Equipment. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Do you want me to go next, Nick? Yeah. Or? You go ahead. Okay. So changing the order. Okay. Yeah. 
<clears throat> for me, so for my, my shooter, uh, customization wouldn't be probably nearly as in-depth as Matt's <laughs> version, but definitely at the beginning... No when it's customization is nearly in-depth as mine. <laughs> oh, oh. At, at the beginning, uh, there would def- definitely be, like, uh, different hair options, different, like, face, face options, um, and then, like... Probably different like clothing options. At least there'll be like the beginning one, a beginning sort of set, and then like as you play each level beforehand, you also have time to customize your mm. character. Like like choose your loadout for the next mission. Yeah, your loadout and your maybe like your clothing, and so maybe so, maybe I'm considering putting like bonuses to clothing so as to give them more a of a reason purpose to than change just, out. Yeah. yeah, rather than being like oh this looks cool, being like maybe this one gives you more ammo capacity or something mm-hmm. like that, or or this one like it's like a black suit that is like made for stealth. Stealth, and, mm, yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, so, are there different classes in your game? Did we discuss no, this? No, I. Okay. Because my question I, would have been I, if there are different classes, would choosing a specific class change what options are available to you? But if there's no classes, then. At the moment, I haven't decided whether there is or isn't classes. I mean, that would make, you know, that would give, you know, like a battlefield vibe mm-hmm. to, like, both the yeah, multiplayer and, and, yeah. then, and then putting the classes into the single player would help. Like people understand what they are, so that that definitely would be if that is like an the option. sniper can have this stealth option, but he can't have like the heaviest armor option. Yeah, like that yeah. would be what I would think. But yeah, another thing that would be uh, really customizable uh, in single player is since there'll be several missions where you fly, fly in in airplanes uh, or in your airplane, you'd you'd uh, definitely have. Uh, customization for the plane so you could like have probably a, what would look like different like engines that were in there and uh, and uh, other customization colors and maybe like decals and maybe you could make your own kind of prints on there for, for like maybe your own design yeah. of what you wanted to call your, your plane and whatnot and so that would be something that would be pretty in depth and pretty like meaningful hopefully for a set okay said person that wants to play this. That's about as much customization I I tend to put in my put in my game. So Nick, oh boy, got something for us. <laughs> so if you remember, my game had multiple classes with multiple races. Oh boy. So the character customization would be fairly similar to Matt, maybe not as in depth. <laughs> so like, you'll have maybe like I don't know we'll say like eight different body types you can choose from per gender. So it's a choosing body type thing. It's Mm -hmm. like a, here's a preset. Yeah. Whereas mine would be based on like sliders and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, for mine, there would be like, yeah, pre, like pre, pre pre-made body types. Like you get to customize the face as much as you want. And like also with the body, it's like, if you maybe want to like be missing an arm or have a cybernetic arm, you can throw that in as well. Cybernetic legs. Would the cybernetics give um, advantages over, or would it just be an aesthetic thing? A little bit of both. Because I imagine they'd have advantages and disadvantages. If, yeah. So, like, for instance, a cybernetic arm, you're stronger, but you're also less, like, you're heavier. Yeah. And, yeah. You're, and it's harder to be, and if you have, like, a metal leg, or, like, a cybernetic, if it's metal... You're, you get like a sneak uh, disadvantage because it clinks on rocks. Yeah, and it's it's heavier, yeah. so it'll make a heavier footfall. Because I'm assuming you're still yeah. wearing a boot over it, and so yeah. But if you're not, then it would obviously make more noise based on metal versus. Yeah. So there there will be like ups and downs depending on what you pick, uh, unless you go full, full robot, which. I and then there's no added. ups and downs. You're just a robot. Mm. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, then you're totally suspicious. Sus, 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 suspect. Suspicious. Sus, 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 oh, we can't ta- talk. What, what, so, suspect. He's no. weak to. To what? So what? you'd be you're like weak su- to like electrical. Susceptible. 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 That, that word Septic that Matt tank. said. Susceptible. Susceptible. There we go. So if you're like a full like I was like trying to robot, figure out what he was saying. Yeah. I don't know if he was trying to say... Like, suspicious? No. Because, <laughs> like, like, you're more suspicious. Yeah. So if you're, like, a robot or even, like, a cyborg, like, a 50% or more cy- cyborg, 
you're more susceptible to like electric electric attacks, attacks and EMP. water attacks and water mm, not maybe. so much water just a thought. electrical to overload your circuits or even like EMP because I'm definitely playing also EMP. maybe it depends on like what type of armor like arm uh, yeah. body you take if it's more exposed like less armor or something like that in order to get rid of like the weight penalty maybe you are more susceptible to water yeah but I don't know this like, is your like, I, just it, it also depends on like I said it also depends on the race so like if you're like one of the space elves it's like okay maybe your space elf has uh, one cybernetic arm magic wooden I, I was gonna say more of like a uh, synthetic just so. like more sleek and organic looking yeah more sleek organic looking but like uh, it, it more matches what they yeah. look like versus like the dwarves who would have just like this metal gears and whatnot. And yeah, so super bulky and just yeah, like if, yeah. If, yeah. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go with the elf. So like the elf has like the more natural synthetic looking one. Now, if they're like a class that uses lots of magic, they wouldn't be able to use magic out of that. Huh? The, oh, okay. That uh, so that would be one of the thing. big disadvantages yeah. of having something that's ro- more robotic. Yeah. So not- if you're a robot. You don't use magic. You no. You can't use magic. No, but you can use stuff like plasma attacks. Is there like a replacement for magic with the robotic stuff? Yeah. Or, okay. There would be, but so cyborgs have, don't get that replacement. Only full robots Only full do. robots. Okay. So I was going to be like, if you could, if you got an arm, you could use magic out of one hand, but then like the robotic, but if they don't, okay. So. Only full robots get the magic. It's not really magic. magic replacement. It's, it's a science replacement. Okay. So. Like, I'm kind of pulling from Dragon Ball on this one, where everyone has their their chi, where so like okay. they, that that's how they get like their energy blast and their flight. But then when you go go to the androids, because they're they're part, they're not full on androids. They're bio androids, so they still have their a little bit of the human in them. Like okay. they, they're mostly built on science, so that's where they get their stuff from. Okay. So there would be ups and downs to that. Uh, yeah, that would be definitely for like sort of the balance and uh, yeah. different opportunities of different play styles, yeah. right? Because obviously, if you really wanted to go magic, you might want to just be like no, no robotics whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But if you're like a mixture, I want a little bit of both sides. Maybe you'll do like more cybernetic, enhanced character yeah. for your creation. Creation. Okay. What so it sounds like is you're making space shadow run, which is an idea that I love. <laughs> oh, it, it's going to get even better because that just while you guys were talking, I just thought of something. Oh no! So, like, like I said, if <laughs> I'm you, you 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 can't get like the the science the science uh, ability abilities if you're not more than fifty percent. Like everything robotic. has these super in depth names, but when you're a robot, one of your perks is just science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because science. <laughs> well, we're coming up with more <laughs> concepts than act like yeah. like concrete, fully written out yeah. stuff. I'm gonna take a like instead of having like the cybernetic enhancements for elves, they're against it. Interesting. So, but here's the, here's another aspect for the RPG. Would there be? You can get your arm eaten off by an alien. Okay. So Ooh. elves are against the whole the, the thing. whole cybernetic enhancements. So. Whereas dwarves there's are a, for You said it. there's like a raider pirate faction? Yeah. Like a, would they accept whoever wanted to join? Would they have like elves and dwarves and humans? And would the elves yeah. in that faction be okay with the cybernetics? Yeah. The based elves, on their high risk lifestyle. Yeah. The elves who are part of like the pirate factions, marauder factions, uh, bounty hunters. Would they be the ones who would join... And then be like, oh, cybernetics are actually cool. Or would they get cybernetics before and then the elves would kick them out and they'd have to join the pirates? Uh, a mix of both. It's more like the one the elves are part of that would be either exiled or... from the elven society or... They'd have joined already and they been like, hey. kidnapped or joined already. Give me an arm. And then, yeah. So okay. there will be ups and downs to that. Uh, so, the, yeah. The, the robot class would definitely have the most character customization with the robot class so. is it designed to look like specific races or is it its own race uh it's <sighs> like if you chose an elf and then decided hey cybernetic enhancements plus all the way would you just end up being an elf robot not that elves want that but uh exactly. yeah there would be both like or there... would there be robot class i want to look like elf or yeah. I want to look like you dwarf. can do that. So you can robot, look like the different robot ones. would be its own race, but mm-hmm. you could join essentially whatever faction you wanted. 
going into the lore based on like the appearance you chose going into the lore the robots are created by the dwarves and the I guess I'm going to just call them Terran because why not the humans and or the not robots. Terran Terran Human. is sorry the Terrans are like the humans the generics the Terran are the human I feel like you could just call them humans I'm just going to call them humans then yeah there's just like, not to confuse <laughs> if there's the, only the humans listeners. then I feel like you could just so, call them humans so the robots were created by the dwarves and the humans and one of the races I don't have a name for yet because it's oh, are they orcs? Like are they sporks? A, are they space no, orcs? No, it's a, it's a home. It's kind of like a homebrew type okay. thing. The so. Telathlian. No, I'm trying to figure out a cool name, but I can't really describe it because I. <sighs> they live in black the holes. Oompa Loompas. I'm pretty sure they're the only race that can survive. Okay. The, the, the Willy Wonka's from... Crad Cradbury Cadbury Cream Eggs. Crab bearing what? <laughs> Well, no. I, I guess you don't have to have a, a name right now. Yeah, maybe, I'm pretty maybe sure maybe Cadbury yeah. owns next Cadbury time. Cream Eggs, not Willy Wonka. N- maybe yeah. Next week we can you can you can have something ready yeah. for us. Yeah, but basically that that race they 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 live in gravi- the gravitational pull of black holes and stuff, and can that, they survive it, outside of that gravitational yes. pull? Yes. Huh? Do they have to have like special suits? No. They're they're used to heavy gravity. How so as soon as they're in like logical work. I'm guessing black holes aren't they're, they're not, not equivalent to ours, but they're very similar. Yeah. Like they still have the same sort of idea of like they have so everything is, into it. Yeah. yeah basically. Inhale. They're they're not <laughs> fully solid. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay. But they can take on a solid shape. Jello, basically, <laughs> in a way, they're they're more liquid. I, I want I want to say more like oil, like but um, lighter. You could call them non Newtonians. Based. I was going to call them nebulae, but I don't non Newtonian fluids, which hmm. are yeah, which are uh, liquid until you put enough pressure on it, and then they f- and then they basically become solid. Yeah. So, so like it, oobleck, and the only natural occurring option is quicksand. Yeah. So okay. basically, when they're in the black holes, that's when they're mostly solid because there's because pressure because of all the pressure because all of that peer pressure to smoke. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. So that that's basic, they, and they also don't do cybernetic enhancements because it just just because it doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't last it doesn't, it doesn't last it doesn't. and How their do they body composition <laughs> can connect to it. Yeah. So that's another race. That's basically okay. it for like the race kind of build customization yeah the the clothing Just remind you what we're doing. yeah the, the clothing <laughs> customization like you'll have like a basic set so it's going to be built kind of like like an rpg where you get the basic set and like you find loot then you can craft more stuff so like you'll be able to craft like armor that's like okay this one gives you more proficiency in maybe uh energy energy weapons or one that gives you more proficiency in plasma based weapons stuff like that where like oh this one gives you a 25 percent boost in defense Okay. So stuff like that. So you'll be able to craft and find stuff as well. And it nice. it all it all changes depending on the race again and the class. So like whatever class you pick, it's like they're limited to what they can wear and what they can build. So Okay. But then hmm. yeah. So there's there's quite a bit of customizing in this game. Yep. That yeah. sounds like and it. And then there's also spaceship customizing. So that that one I'm I'm not really set in stone what I want to do for yet. Like I want to be like say you can build however you want. It's so, like uh, kind of like you draw a shape with with whatever, and then you just build onto it. So kind of like is I guess more like, like spore. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Is it like spores? It's like spores vehicle builder. Yeah, but better than spores vehicle builder. I don't know how you could get better than spore. Oh, I you can get a lot better. Than <laughs> Trust me. Like it'll He's be so like shook. that. Come on, man! It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you can give it a sport. Yeah. I love sport. I love sport too. But it, I do it'll be it'll be fairly that. similar to that. So like you can like dr- like draw like I don't know. You can draw like a bean shape and you can build off of it. And once you have like the whole external built and you have like the colors down, you go on the inside and you can build it however you want. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of the same thing with the clothing, where it's like you'll find loot and you can craft stuff so you can make your ships better. Yeah. There's a lot, and again, it changes depending on 
your race, your class, your faction. Actually, not so much class, more so race and faction for that. So. Are you just making the space version of my game? <laughs> no. no. Okay. It says RTS. Yeah, I remember. I still have the RTS. So you're making a worse space version of my game. If you want, okay. I'm kidding, I'm I, kidding. I, I, I think your game is awesome. I was going to say, just... you can also create your, like, like let's say you're part of like a pirate faction. I was going to say you could also like create each of the different vehicles. The units? The units, but That's it's like... A it's That's a lot. a lot of customization. I, I feel like more so it will just take the color scheme of what you have as yours. Mm -hmm. So like only your vehicle is or customizable. Would you, so. would you do that or would you be like... Hey, customize your own, but then also choose a color scheme for your group. Yeah. Because I always like in games where I can customize... Because there's, like, uh, Dynasty Warriors. Oh, yeah. Dynasty Warriors? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that was so strange right then. Um, like, you can... Basically, you make a custom unit. Yeah. And you can choose, like, their color and, like, their armor colors and whatnot and their emblem and stuff like that yeah so is that kind of so it's like you can make your character because i like always having my character kind of stand out from like the rest of the mm -hmm. army essentially like that yeah so i always i always I so it would be like that forward. but like with the color with the color choosing it won't be like okay there's all these colors it'll be like i don't know how much like you know how they have like that circle and just all the colors and you just like drag around on it and it'll like go to that color it'll be more like that so it's like it'll be very hard for someone to get the exact same color as you. And, like, or you can, like, type in, like, the, the color numbers and it'll, like, mm. just mix in. Like, F, 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 F. Yeah, like, F, 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 uh, hashtag 033, which I think is black for most things. But, like, it'll be like that. So. Mm. And then, like, you can nice. slide the hue and brightness. and Basically, it's, like, you can choose whatever color you want. So there, nice. it, it's a lot. It's probably it, it would probably take like a good like hour and a half just to f do the customizing in the beginning, if not more. Uh, well, I'm guessing that you might have some presets for people who don't really have. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's, they don't especially have... for like the spaceships, there will be like, okay, you want this preset shape? Okay, here's a cube. Or or, or even chop parts of it off. Or even like. Uh, even like here's random like a buttons. completely pre-built yeah. thing. Yeah. Like you don't have to do anything there, there to are it. Because like and then, yeah, random as well. Like, there'll be people like Matt who will be like, I can customize everything, and then I will we'll take literally, literally like the first fifty hours of his I've, gameplay will be I've all had customization. To, um, in the middle of some games, when I'm customizing, I've had to go to bed and wake up and finish it the next day because I keep customizing. <laughs> so I, I believe that one hundred percent. Yeah. That's yeah. I, yeah. I want to make my character exactly how I see it in my head. Yeah. And I will. I don't care if it takes me, like, three days. And I, yeah. So, like, I can't turn my Xbox off or my computer off because I have to be, like, well, if I turn it off, I'm going to lose everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to actually leave it on and go to bed and then wake up the next day and be, like, got to continue. Yeah. So oh. there's, there's going to be a lot of customizing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's... And similar with mine is that there's will there will be like presets yeah. yeah like there's gonna be like hey so you don't want to put a lot of time in there's here's like 15 or so preset faces yeah, like, choose yeah. your hairstyle hair color eye color yeah. or like the dice where it's do like whatever you want to randomize yeah there's also that but also if you don't want to just randomize if you kind of want like a well here's like a basic head shape that i really like mm -hmm. or like here's a basic complete face that i really like but i don't like the hair you can change that and i don't like this and this so like I need the skin to be darker because that's what I have in my yeah. head for my character, but I also the eyes need to be a different color than, bam, yeah. there's my character. Yeah. And then same thing with the ships is like, here's, you've chosen a dwarf, so here's, you know, four or five preset ships that you can choose from. Yeah. Go for it. Here's a few options for medals. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Here's you know, basic options. How do you want to start moving? Do you want sails? Do you want the engine? What not? So, like, there's... I'm already saying that, and there already seems like a lot to me for, like, players who just want to get into it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Here's a preset right. for character. Here's a preset for your <laughs> yeah. ship. Yeah. Well, I guess... Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily... You don't customize your ship at the beginning, though, in mine, because you don't start off in charge of a ship. Well, yeah. 
and then and then as <laughs> yeah. you get more, so one, once more you money, get your own ship, whether it's probably money to getting in charge of the ship that you start on, or even leaving and getting a different ship, then you can go and customize it how yeah. you want based on how much money you have. Because it's definitely the ships will definitely be based on the money you have to customize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and whereas that, your character is just based on what you want to look yeah. like at the beginning of the game, and then throughout the game, there's yeah. barber shops and yeah. I'm going stuff back like to that. my ships, like. It'll kind of be the same way depending on what Mm -hmm. faction you choose. So, like, if you pick, like, a pirate faction, yes, you'll start with a ship at the beginning. But if you pick, like, the, uh, like, the Imperial Soldier, I don't really have a, I don't really have a name for that. Like, you won't start off because maybe... Like the human military kind of idea, is that what... Yeah, well, not not so much just human. Like, it's going to be a mix of the races. The Federation... No, not the Federation. It's just going to be like the the empires, like m- the military. Yeah. So like it's just a mix of races. But like in that, the way I, I foresee it is like you will start off in the middle of like a the Galactic Imperium. Yeah, you'll start off in like a middle of a battle, so you don't start oh. off with a ship. But like so something happens and like you get promoted to like a sergeant or something, yeah. so you get your, your commanding own officer ship. dies and you're the one who has presented the but yeah. highest. Well, not your commanding officer, like you're a. Your squad, your squad leader. So like, would you, that not be your commanding officer? I guess no, I commanding know officer would be like, commanding officer is the one who's in charge of your unit. Not your unit. That would be your brigade, I believe. Isn't the officer the commanding officer just the officer who gives commands? Yeah, so that would be brigade. So would that be whoever is technically, in charge? Technically, technically, anybody in charge of you would be your commanding officer. But if you take if you your take immediate into, commanding officer dies, so there's so no yeah, one between your squad you and him, commander, so basically. Then, yeah, I don't know enough about military, so. So and then you find his ship like half destroyed, or like you just see a flaming wreck, and like it just starts raining, so it goes out, and it's like okay, this is when you get to build your ship, which would probably be like an hour into the game. <laughs> you get to it, build your ship. Yeah. Well, you got to find a ship, and then you have to like, and then you get no, to build it you, throughout the game. You you build like for that one, you would build it. Because you won't see what it is, because the, there will be like fires and stuff, and you'll just see your character walking towards the screen and, and be like, "Oh, look, there's the ship!" And then, like, he'll turn around, but then he'll, as he turns around, it turns into the creation menu. So you get to like build the ship because it's technically not your ship; it was your squad commander's ship. But you get it, you get to say what. So it each like. faction has their own time when they get their ship. Yeah. Okay. Or you can be one of the, uh, the black hole dwelling creatures and not have a ship, because they can just travel through space. Okay. That's a giant massive goo. <laughs> How do they propel themselves? Okay. I don't maybe, know yet. Maybe, I have, maybe I, not now. <laughs> I, I haven't put enough thought into that one yet, so... Maybe, maybe not now. <laughs> it's like a Super Mario Galaxy thing. Maybe Where there's just like little dots everywhere that they have to grab and pull themselves to No, they, no. they kind of just... Like, if... The way I see it is like there's going to be like a squadron and they, they like basically just collectively like morph together into one giant blob and they can just kind of just move through the vacuum of space. Nice. So, they're weird. Okay. But that's a new game plus only. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Our next section is... <laughs> Reviews with Nick. <clears throat> uh, yeah. As I took up, like, probably a good, like, 40 minutes just talking about <laughs> character cuts. It no. didn't take 40 minutes. I think in total, like, the three of us took up, like, at least 40 minutes. We don't have to talk about how long yeah, we talked. You can just move on to the next yeah. thing so we go down faster. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just like super passive aggressive about it. No, I'm fine. It just means I'll have to edit down more. Not really. Can, yeah. Can, just, I just, don't want a two hour long podcast. Ah, okay. <laughs> go. Go. Uh, this do is it. A, okay. So <laughs> the game I'm going to be reviewing today is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon because they're basically the same game. So. Uh, so, just a little bit of information on the game. It was it's developed by Game Freak and then published by the Pokemon Company and Nintendo. Uh, it was released November 17th, 2017. So, it's been out for a year just over a year. A yeah. I was going to say almost three years, but I'm like, wait a second, no. Nope. Absolutely I don't know not. what time is. So, uh, so Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It's a year and four months. Yeah. So, one third year a year and a third something uh 1.33 repeating yeah well, so probably not exactly but 
uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they're the last Pokemon games to be released on the Nintendo 3DS. Because yeah. Switch came out, so the next game, Sword and Shield, will be released on there. Uh, so there are a few differences between Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and original Sun and Moon. So they added five new Pokemon from those games. Uh, four of those were Ultra Beasts. So Stack Attacka. I think it's Stack Attacka. No, not Stack Attacka. I, I don't remember one of them. One of them is Blacephalon. I know that. Stack Attacka is a Stack great Attacka game. Stack is from Sun and Moon. But no, uh, one of them is Blacephalon, uh, Poipol, Naganadel, and there's one more uh, Ultra Beast I can't remember the name of. And the fifth one is a mythical Pokemon. Jim. No. no. Zero Aura. It's a fighting electric No, this is the last cat. Ultra Beast. It's Jim. Probably. Uh, Jim then, the Giant Rage Beaver. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Uh, they also introduced four new forms. So Nec- Necrozoma, which was a legendary Ultra Beast from Sun and Moon, they actually gave it three forms. In Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so you can you can fuse him with uh, Solgaleo to have Dawn Main uh, Necrozoma, or you can fuse him with oh what's the other Lun- Lunala, I think that's how you pronounce it, to get uh, Dusk Wing Necrozoma. Yeah, and then you can also go to the through the ultra wormholes and stuff to go to the uh, place where the ultra beasts come from and then you can have Necrozoma become ultra Necrozoma where he starts glowing golden and turns into a dragon which is kind of funny uh, the fourth new form was the form they gave to Lycanroc so in Sun and Moon they gave it a day form and midnight form but in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon they add a new one called Dusk Form mm. which is pretty cool uh, I have yet to still get it uh, so one interesting about Ultra Sun's Ultra Moon is it was worked on by the younger staff from Game Freak because all of the veteran staff who worked on like Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, they were all working on Sword and Shield at the oh. same time. And let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. So basically people who have been working there for maybe, I'm going to say like less than five years, were, were the ones working on Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, which is pretty cool. So definitely a different... different yeah group like, kind of like a new, new take on it yeah a new, new take. take like it, it is it is like an exp- technically it's like an expansion to the original sun and moon games so like they didn't really have to like create the game from scratch they got sun and moon and they just built on it and add more stuff to it yeah which, is, which cool. is probably a good way to kind of be in charge of your own thing <laughs> yeah yeah it's like we okay we've got this good standard pokemon game you're all not new here but you all been working here for a short amount of time. Yeah. Kind of do what you want, keep the base game the same, but do yeah. what you want. Exactly. Which is really interesting. And they they added a bunch of new stuff to the story and It's a great way to not yeah. throw them into the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, another interesting fact is that it was the most an- anticipated 3DS tile title in 2017. As it should be. It's Pokémon, so of course it's going to be. Uh, came out 2013? No, 2017. 2017. Sorry. 2013. <laughs> 2013, it was the most anticipated game of 2017. It's very strange. Yeah. Uh, so, it sold 1.2 million physical copies in the first three days in Japan alone. 1.2 million. million. That's a lot. In... in just Japan. It came out in November. Here's the thing. By the end of 2017, it sold over 2 million copies. In Japan. In Japan alone. Making it the best-selling game in Japan in 2017. That's I mean, it's crazy. Pokemon, so... Ugh. Like, Pokemon just sells, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Also, because of the amount of like sales they had for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, the whole Pokemon franchise has over 300 million copies in sales. Physical copies. That doesn't... Inc- like, I know Matt... I like, pretty much exclusively buy digital. Yeah. So... so like, <laughs> it, people that's like me crazy who don't buy physical thing. copies of anything... Well, they, I don't think they really released any digital copies until the 3DS. Which would give you for eight different games. So, there's a lot. 
the physical copies, which is pretty cool. 300 million? Yeah. Um, as of December 31st, tw uh, 2018, uh, total sales for the game was 8.28 million copies. That's physical and digital. Worldwide or? Worldwide. Which, it, it slowed down after like the first initial yeah. one. Because it's Pokemon. People are like, hey, let's A lot of people buy it immediately and have pre-ordered it or whatever. Yeah, because so. the pre-order... The, the people who buy it later are the people who are probably like just getting into Pokemon. Yeah. Or like we're just recently got into Pokemon. Yeah. So. It, Pokemon as a game franchise has, has always been a very solid mm -hmm. and easy choice to get. Yeah. Get one. Because you know mm -hmm. what you're gonna get and like the new stuff is. If you awesome. don't know what you're gonna get, ask like anybody. Yeah. Most people yeah. under mm -hmm. the age of like thirty know what Pokemon is. Yeah. <laughs> and can yeah. explain it. I say uh, maybe not most people, but Mo uh, a good chunk a good of chunk people under the age of 30. Don't ask my mom because she says every Pokemon is Pikachu. Is she under the age of 30? No, but she says every Pokemon <laughs> is Pikachu. They are. Yeah. So Squirtle, uh, just a water turtle Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, she knows, she knows who, uh, she knows who uh, Charmander is. Which just a fire lizard Pikachu. Basically. <laughs> uh, but funny story, uh, with the total amount of sales, it made it the ninth best-selling 3DS game of all time. Ooh. Wow! I don't know what the other eight were. I'm gonna guess that Smash Bros. is one of them, that's along a, with like guess. Pokemon, Alpha for, Sapphire, for and Omega. 3DS. Yeah. Omega Ruby. Maybe yeah. I'll look that up. You keep going with your Ruby. I got Omega yeah. Ruby. Yeah, I know that. Uh, but yeah, I I personally enjoy I've the owned game. I've like a two lot. Pokemon games yeah. in my life, and it's been Fire Red and Omega Ruby, which is funny because they're both remakes. Um, yeah, I o I only get remakes of. I can't wait for. Uh, Mega Shield? They're not going to do a Mega Shield. They'll probably do And pistol. Mega Sword? They'll probably do Pistol. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I'm tr <laughs> I, I personally enjoy... The whole joke was that it. I only get remakes. Oh. And they always just name them the same thing with another word in front of them. So well, I was going with Mega Shield. <laughs> well, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are And then really you remakes. had to crap all over my joke. They're not really remakes. They're just additions. Because like, it's the same thing with Diamond You're and the one who said they were remakes, so now I, you're I, lying no, to I me. never said remakes. You did. You said did they're I? both remakes when I said the games I had gotten. You're like, yeah, which is funny because they're both remakes. No, the ones you got. Ultra Sun yeah. and Ultra Moon aren't remakes. Yeah, I'm not talking about Ultra oh. I'm talking about... No, yeah, you I remakes. only get remakes. Yeah, you only get so, one remake. <laughs> the next one I'm going to get is Mega Shield when they remake Shield. Oh, they're, they're, prob <laughs> they're probably going to do like Shiny Pearl and Shiny oh, Diamond, which is probably what you're going to get next. But, um, no, it has to be different names. Okay. Because it's been Sh Omega Ruby and Ultra Sapphire? Black Pearl Alpha and, Sapphire. and Blood Diamond. Yeah, so oh. it, it wouldn't be Shiny Pearl and Shiny So we'll, we'll go with Black Solstice. Pearl. Solstice. And... What does the other one call? <laughs> yeah. Uh, personally, I enjoy Pokemon a lot. I I personally I have... <laughs> I looked at how many, how many hours I logged into the game, and I've logged in 194 hours. Wow. Into Ultra Moon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's more than I've put into any game. Any uh, of, no, probably not. It's not more than I put into Inquisition. I can't say anything though because Inquisition is probably like 300 plus for me. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> the Pokemon game I've put the most hours into is Pokemon Soul Silver with 400. Ooh, yeah, that's hours. definitely more than any game I've put hours. into. I mean, there's been there were quite a few nights where I did just leave it on overnight. So, but I did play it a lot. Like, I was still playing it when the 3DS came out. Well, so you love your Pokemans. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I love the game so much. Uh, I I have some of like the the uh, review scores from some like big, so from some of like the bigger companies. So like Metacritic gave it an 84 out of 100. Uh, Famitsu gave it 36 out of 40. Game Informer gave it 8.5 out of 10. GameSpot gave it 8 out of 10. IGN, which is where I get most of my news from, uh, 9 out of 10. And then Nintendo Life, they gave it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Life. Of course is they're going to give... Is it an official Nintendo thing? Yeah. Okay. It's like the Nintendo magazines and stuff. Okay. They do like reviews and stuff. Uh, I personally give it a 9.5 out of 10. Nice. The only reason I don't give it that extra 0.5 is because they haven't released an event for Hoopa. And I really want my Hoopa. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have released it. You just missed it. I missed it, but they haven't <laughs> released an event for it since then. And it's the same with Marshadow. The only two Pokemon. You're I'm just missing. upset because you missed two events. I'm missing two Pokemon. <laughs> Which is very fair. It's fine. It's fine. You're allowed to be so, upset. 
Yeah. Honestly, Pokemon dive in whenever. You don't have to start at the beginning. Like you can just dive in whenever, and you can get all the Pokemon because that's just how the games are yeah, built. They include all the previous generations, yeah. right? Yeah. So you can get any of like the the normal Pokemon and legendary Pokemon throughout normal gameplay. The event Pokemon, not so much. So the mythicals, like you just have to wait for those. But yeah. The only reason that Nick is so upset is because he's a collector. If he doesn't get everything from a set, well, you've seen how he reacted to not having two Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Play Pokemon. Please trade with me. <laughs> give, give me your... Mythicals. Give me your Hoopa and your Marshadow. <laughs> <laughs> are we, Anyways. Are we curious about the top ten? Uh, yeah, probably. we're the top ten. Uh, of, uh, top ten, what? For 3DS. Best games three, of... Three, uh, well, like, best-selling games best of selling. 3DS? Best-selling. Yeah. Uh, so I'm getting my stuff from Wikipedia, so I am not sure exactly how accurate it is, but yeah. usually pretty good. Pretty, but if pretty you, accurate. You may want to go to like one so, of the source pages if you if you want to. I'm, uh, not saying you have to. I'm just gonna stick with this okay. for now. Uh, number ten is a game called Tomodachi Life. Ooh, ooh, that was a good game. I, I got that game good. at six point four million. I I wouldn't have expected it Actually, to be on the top ten list. It's basically like Nintendo Sims. Well, they they basically marketed different. the heck out of that game. That's true. Not, I did see a lot of advertising. So it's not for it. like Animal Crossing though. Is no, it? it's like Sims. I'd say it's closer to Sims. Oh, okay, okay, because I I don't know that one at all. Uh, and then we po- both own it. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Okay. Yeah. At eight point two eight million. Yeah. yeah so that's the same as information that I had. Number that's good. eight is <laughs> that was different. It's like who's wrong? We don't know. <laughs> Number eight is Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS. Only at number nine, eight? Nine point yeah, I would have expected four five it to be million. It was very laggy in my opinion. Cause the, I it, enjoyed it, but I didn't play online at all. But you also had the newer 3DS. I have I have the first yeah, you edition Yeah, you just had 3DS. a... <laughs> well, 3DS not itself, and it 3DS. does not run it. You just well. had a 3DS, whereas I had a new 3DS. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, number Which seven... Which the difference in marketing was. Mine was just called the new 3DS. Yeah. Num- number number seven wa- is Animal Crossing New Leaf at 12.1 I also million. had that one. I've I'm had all the surprised. games so far. I'm not surprised. No, I haven't had the Ult- Ultra Sun. And... Okay. Number Omega six. <laughs> number six is Super Mario 3D Land at 12.41 that one, that, one that million. That makes sense. Uh, not surprised. Number five is New Super Mario Bros. 2 at oh, 13.08 okay. million. That's what? Number five? That's number five. Four, five, yeah. Wow. Number four is Pokemon Omega Ruby Got and that one. Alpha <laughs> Sapphire at 14. Number the, three? Four. Number four. At 14 million. You're a minute ahead. You're a minute ahead. 14. <laughs> 14. 7, uh, one, seven million. There we go. Wow. So, a lot. Um, then, number three is Pokemon Sun and Moon. Wow. Oh, okay. at, oh because there's yeah. a lot of Pokemon games. At six, I didn't realize there were three point more on the one three, isn't there? Four yeah. million. Yeah. I mean there's six, but they're putting the two just, releases just, together. Just talking about the I, I I know why. Like because Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were basically just at like were they? the same game as Sun and Moon, mm-hmm. but with more story, it makes sense that it sold less than Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. Sun and Moon was the beginning of Gen Seven, so it makes sense that's like hey. New, new generation, yeah. probably a lot more popular. Yeah. Uh, and then this makes sense for the next one. So next, number two, second highest is Pokemon X and Y yeah. at 16.37 okay. yeah. million. Yeah, and so, X and Y was the beginning of Gen 6. So Are there other Pokemon games on the 3DS? What do we think number one is going to be? I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. What, what would be... I think this one. I wish it'd be Monster Hunter. I'm gonna say it's probably Legend of of Zelda: Ocarina of Time remake. Oh, maybe. Or maybe Majora's Mask remake. The only ones I can think of because I don't, I don't know a whole lot about the 3DS, just because I only got the games I really wanted. (laughs) Was I? The only thing that's in my brain that is a franchise that we haven't seen necessarily would be Monster Hunter, but I don't think that'd be number one. That wasn't that big on the DS because, like, like Smash Bros. It didn't run well on the original 3DS. Well, yeah, but it was also just bigger in Japan. Like, it wasn't as big here. Yeah, it wasn't until I they feel like it was bigger, but that's just because world. of the people I yeah. follow yeah. were into it, but they were definitely the exception yeah. rather than the rule. So, so just, just for context. Xenoblade Chronicles. Just for context. <laughs> was that a problem? Number two, number two was at 16.37 million. Number oh, one. What would it be? 
you have to say it. Is Mario Kart 7. I, oh, I should have guessed that. I, I, t- I totally forgot about Mario Kart. Point one one million. I totally so, forgot that Mario Kart existed million on the than previous Almost Mario. 2 million more than the previous one. So wow. like, what other Mario, what other like Nintendo games are there? We've said Mario stuff, so, and I totally forgot to say so Mario Kart in the 3DS. If, if I go back a bit, there is... I owned it! <laughs> I, if I go back a bit, there's Monster Hunter Generations at 13... Uh, okay. 13th place and then I there's Monster one. Hunter 4 Ultimate at 14 and Monster Hunter 4 at what 15 what are 11 and 12 uh, 11 is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon oh, yes, uh, 12 second. is the Ocarina of Time oh, okay yeah uh, or Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time yeah 3D I actually um, don't expect Monster Hunter to even be that high at 13 no Monster Hunter is uh, like I know has it's been very well known to keep Capcom alive in Japan because oh, like they really? are it's one of the yeah. they've sold like tons. I figured if them. there's anything like at least in North America to keep them alive, it'd be like Marvel versus Capcom. Yeah, but What's now now yeah. Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter, yeah, that... World has done stuff. So yeah, there's 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 a few Monster Hunter World games in in these top like twenty. There's yeah. there was a Monster Hunter Three Ultimate as well. At, at 20. I had that one on Wii U. So. Yeah, me too. So yeah, and then uh, and then it just goes. I love Monster Hunter so much. <laughs> I don't think Xenoblade Chronicles was on so, the 3DS. I thought that was on Wii U. Maybe. So. Anyways. I thought, but yeah. I thought there was I'm like one sure. that was on 3DS. Maybe. Or unless you're thinking of Smash Bros. Because they had Shulk in Smash Bros. So. Well, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't confuse Xenoblade Chronicles with Smash Bros. But maybe. And I'm not surprised that there was no Sonic the Hedgehog on that should, list. Should we end a little early? Oh, uh, still. Because yeah, like um, the next. Well, yeah. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We may want to, but I mean, we could just say our one of the week. One of the week. Just like, one, one let's thing do that one we of have. the week, just because we're going a lot over time. Okay. Um, so, do you have something this week that was just like, yeah. Uh, I got to play Payday Two, some more with my, with you guys and my, and alone. Yeah. That was my one yeah, of the week. Yeah. Uh, I got Fallout 4 on PC. Mm. Like, I've had it on Xbox One for a long time, and I love it. But it's a first-person shooter, and that just works so much better on PC. So, it was on sale. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> so, I got it on PC, and it's so good. Uh, modding it has just been great. Nice. <laughs> Definitely got a bunch of mods that let me just be like, hey, level up however you want. <laughs> just mm. level up now. Yep. What's that? You just left the vault? Have Max 200 level. levels. Max I'm actually level 804 in it right now. Because I'm just like, I played the game without mods. It was fun. I'm a mod it. <laughs> I'm not looking for achievements on Steam. I have achievements on Xbox. That gives me points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Arbitrary okay. points that I still take. Okay. Nick, uh, what about For you? me, it's The Division 2. I I got the early release on Wednesday, and I've been playing it a, a bit. Way to say a new game. <laughs> well, no, it's actually really good. Like, no, I know. I played the... I love the do demo. Do you remember... Like all like the negative stuff from Division One when it was released. No. Okay. Well, it doesn't have. This that. doesn't have. I, it. I don't really this, remember. This that. is basically. It feels almost the same as where the division is right now, but better because but there's better. no <laughs> snow. Like, it feels the same as it was right now. Wait, wait, wait. I love better. it because I can wear jorts in the game. Ah, oh, dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> And I think end with that. I think we'll. Uh... We're jerks of the game, and we're done. <laughs>